Well, we started preparing for this year um, probably the end of summer. Uh, we went around, inspected, and cleaned as necessary all the catch basins throughout the, the city. In areas where we have, we know that we have flooding, we have gone through and flushed those uh, pipes and got all the siltation out of them so that they can uh, take as much water as they possibly can. So, so in the event of an emergency, we have um, sandbag stations uh, spread out throughout the city. There's five locations. There's one here at Heather Farm Park. We have one over at Larkey Park. We have a sandbag station at Howe Homestead off of Walnut Boulevard there. We also have one at Red Deer Park. The fifth station is over on Lancaster at Orchard. If you need to go to these sandbag stations, bring your own shovel. We provide the sandbags and the sand. If you have areas around your property that are prone to, to uh, flooding, isolated flooding, I would uh, be proactive. Um, come here when it's not raining, it's a lot easier. What we do as well is we go around and we street sweep. Uh, we do our monthly street sweeping and in areas where we have uh, a lot of mature trees, where we have a lot of leaf uh, material dropping from the trees, we go through and we hit those as necessary uh, and we clean up as much as we can in advance of the storm. So every year we have some kind of emergency response exercise. Um, in advance of the winter, in maintenance we have what we call a maintenance departmental operations center and we exercise, we actually practice that with our public works staff. And basically what that is, is it's an efficient way to respond to, in, in this case it would be flooding. Um, we, we actually take uh, all of our staff and we assign them to specific areas throughout the city. And their job is to go out and make sure and monitor the ditchways and, and creeks and the, all the storm drain inlets throughout the city. Uh, keep those clean, respond to specific flooding events if necessary. In addition to that, if the event gets you know, more than what we can handle, we also have the ability to uh, tap into volunteers through our CERT uh, program. And uh, the CERT it, uh, is there to support us, to help us in our response to any kind of emergency. In this case, it would be flooding.